Uganda has in the recent experienced significant impacts of climate change which include changing weather patterns, drop in water levels and increased frequency of extreme weather events like floods. It is from this backdrop that Minister of Water and Environment organized the annual Uganda Water and Environment Week 2022 aimed at engaging and encouraging the population to protect the environment. We are in the third day of the work. And we have so far moved 70 kilometers uh, in the celebration for the Water Environment Week. Our call during this event is to the public to desist from going on with degrading the river bank. But also we are using this event to communicate to the public and inform them the challenges that we are facing. The environmental workers have so far covered distance of 70 kilometers out of 450 kilometers from Kampala to Jinja, where they will proceed to Yiganga, Namutumba, River Mpologoma, Tirinyi, Budaka District, Mbale, Bukedea, Kumi District, Soroti, Kavera Maido, Orange Wetland, Dokolo District, Agwata Central Forest Reserve, Tulira City. So far my experience of the work from Right away from Luzira up to Ginger Town is not so bad. We have had a lot of fun, we have seen a lot of things. The adventure is going on. So as well, I encourage a lot of ladies out there. Please, you can join us on the fight of our air pollution, land pollution environment. You can do better than sitting home and polluting the environment. And whoever is interested, you can join us in any way or the other. As we walk, we encourage you to plant trees to conserve the environment for a better Uganda. We use this opportunity to encourage Ugandans to conserve the environment. And uh, as you've seen, we've been moving around, telling people and even practically planting trees. And we are even lucky that we have been joined by the young generation, because we believe that the future of this country belongs to the next generation. Some of the activities for the work include cleaning public places and water catchment areas, tree planting and donation of tree seedlings and sharing of good environmental practices. So that Kai Zahara Abigaba, UBC News.